Hi friends, Dr. Nancy Trimbley here, putting the power and knowledge of your health back in your hands. Today, we're gonna to look at MRIs. Isn't that exciting? Uh, this is a story of a patient, it's interesting. He was diagnosed with stenosis of the lower back. And I'll explain what stenosis is in a minute. Um, and was recommended he had surgery on his lower back. And um, as you know, we help people avoid surgery. We help people avoid unnecessary medications and medical intervention. Um, so let me give you a little crash course in anatomy so you know what we're looking at. This is a model of the lower back of the lumbar spine. And what you can see is the disc is in between. There's discs in between every single vertebrae. This is the nerve root. And you can see that canal where the nerve comes out. And then I'm gonna show it to you from this perspective as well, because we're gonna look at this perspective on the MRI. Um, you can see, uh, let me flip it around like this because that's more accurate for what we'll be looking at. So here's the disc again. It's just like we put somebody in a, a deli slicer. Sounds gross, but super cool at the same time. Uh, and right here, this is the spinal cord in the spinal canal. You can see there's a little bit of space around the spinal cord. There's not actually space there. There's tissues that surround it. And this is the back of the vertebrae. Now in between the vertebrae, there are joints. You can see possibly right here, there's joints where the vertebrae connect. All right, let's dive in. I'm gonna screen share and I wanna show you this picture right here. So you could see, um, if you look at the small, uh, small picture of me, you can see we're looking at the vertebrae from the side. So these boxy type things, those are the vertebrae. And then the spaces in between are where the discs are. So if you see where my cursor is pointing right here, this disc is very happy and healthy. This one above it and the one above that, very happy, healthy, and fluffy, awesome. But then compare that one to this one, the one below the, the letter L3. Um, that one is compressed. Notice how it's different. It's darker. And there's also a bulge out of the back of it. This one, L4, same thing. Now we're gonna go to the next shot here. Now this is looking at it. If you look at my picture here, we've, we're looking at it from this perspective. And this is one of the healthy spots. This is one of the happy discs. This is the spinal canal right here. We're looking at the person like they're in a deli slicer. Right here, are the nerve canals. So the nerves go out into the lower legs, or actually this would be the upper legs. So these are all nice and happy. Let me show you the next one. This again is in the deli slicer, but this is the area where the nerves go to the lower legs. Remember this patient had no back pain, only lower back pain. And this is stenosis. It means that this degenerated disc, this dried out blackish disc is actually bulging out and it's affecting these canals where the nerves come out. And look at this black stuff back here that's in the, within the spinal canal. So this is stenosis, and uh, stenosis is, is just a more specialized term for arthritis, and arthritis of the spine occurs from previous injury. It is not a normal part of aging, because if you notice here on this picture, these discs and vertebrae are the same age as these lower ones, and this is where the arthritis is. So super exciting. This patient has only been seeing, been coming to my office for two weeks and he's already feeling better with his lower leg pain. Remember, he has no back pain, but severe lower leg pain, because what we're doing is we're getting the pressure off of these nerves uh, using flexion distraction technique, we're getting the pressure off these nerves that go to the lower legs. And it just takes a little bit of extra room when we put the person in the distraction on the distraction table and just gently separate those vertebrae. We're just allowing a little bit more room for those nerves to function better. Now he will never be perfect. This patient will never be perfect. He will always have um, the stenosis. So once we get him feeling well, he is one of those people that is going to require some maintenance care, maybe once a month, maybe twice a month. He still does a lot of heavy work for a living, uh, so it might be twice a month, but we will keep him active and feeling well and working and on the job without surgery. So thanks for, for sharing this time looking at MRIs with me. I love looking at MRIs. Uh, so see you next time. Bye for now.